Two years ago, 16-year-old Oscar Fong was diagnosed with lymphoma, a potentially life-threatening condition. The cancer meant that Oscar needed to undergo regular intensive medical and chemotherapy treatments for prolonged periods of time. However, Oscar's passion for writing and drawing enabled him to battle past the pain, fatigue and anxiety brought on by the treatment, and it also gave him an idea. When I was having my therapy, like my chemotherapy, uh, sometimes or I get uh, kind of hungry. So uh, I think about a lot of things such as food. Uh, I, yeah, so I got the idea from uh, my therapy. That idea blossomed into The Lion's Menu, a story written and illustrated by Oscar as he dealt with his condition. Well, I got a lot of encouragement from my family and uh, the nurses from hospital. And uh, I've already finished uh, writing this and drawing this book. So I thought uh, it would be a good idea to publish it to show other people uh, what a kid in hospital can do. With their help and support of Megafish Hong Kong and California Pizza Kitchen, Oscar's wish to publish his book has been realized. Process from the sales of Oscar's book will go on to help grant other children's wishes through the Megawish Foundation. This is my book and it's called The Lion's Menu. And basically it's about a story of a lion, uh, a very hungry lion, a greedy lion, who eats different animals every day. Uh, for example, on Monday, uh, he gobbles up a, let's see, a zebra, and on Tuesday he gobbles up a uh, plump hen, etc., etc., etc. But he didn't know what to eat on Sunday, so he asked the fox, the uh, most cunning animal in the jungle, what was the most tender meat of all. See here. And the fox said. Children's meat are the most tender. So he went to a Sunday school, here, here, rolled out his tongue like a gigantic carpet. So uh, a lot of children were tricked and they went in, but none came out. Then uh, afterwards, uh, along came Tuppet, the smart kid. Uh, then Tuppet found out that the carpet was very slippery and slimy. Then he rec uh, realized that it was the lion's uh, tongue. So uh, finally, he and his animal friends plotted to get all the children, uh, free all the children from the lion's belly again. And this is the end of the story. But I'm planning to write another one because in the end, here, it says to be continued. Yeah. For the South China Morning Post, this is Miranda Yuan.